टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉपिक और यूनिट सिक्स रिप्रोडक्शन सो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस रिप्रोडक्शन टॉपिक वी कवर्ड सेक्शुअल एंड एसेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ एसेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स and uh, today we are going to discuss about what the process of mitotic cell division and meiosis so mitotic cell division takes place in body cells or vegetative cells or somatic cells and uh, meiosis cell division takes this is meiosis meiosis cell division takes place in reproductive organs reproductive cells so mitotic cell division helps body building growth and meiosis cell division takes place in reproductive organs which make the cell to divide twice thereby haploid cells are formed they are called as gametes so that information we learn in detail in the coming year and also meiosis topic is not there in our syllabus and we need to discuss only the peripheral periphery brief we need to know what brief description about meiosis that that's enough for this year and here you are observing on the green board different stages of mitotic cell division different stages of mitotic cell division suppose if we saw a seed in the soil and add water after few days the seed germinates and it develops into a, a baby plant and this plant grows in size day by day and after few months or few years you see the development of the baby plant into a very strong and also tall plant how this a baby plant grows tall this is by means of what mitotic cell division mitotic cell division takes place in different parts of the plant body one cell divided to two and two cells divided to four like that many cells are formed and finally you see a huge trunk very big branches and also it is producing what large number of flowers and also leaves so that is by means of what mitotic cell division then for example if you observe a small child and this small child in what in in uh, in in uh, in, me, in means of time so uh, every month the small cell so grows tall and become bigger and after 18 or 21 years you see and that cell become an adult so here also we see the growth process development process in the body organ and these growth processes are taken by means of what the cell division that occur in our body organs so today we are going to discuss the basic information what about what mitotic cell division so here you are observing here you are observing what cell cycle diagram cell cycle diagram so this is called as cell cycle diagram and cell cycle diagram consists of g1 s g2 m what is mitotic cell division mitotic cell division is mm, process of division of cell is called as mitotic cell division uh, which is completed in 40 to 60 minutes and uh, here you see uh, we need to understand about what what is interface the gap between the two cell division is called as interface and interface has three stages what g1 stage g2 s g1 stage s and g2 m is mitotic cell division so given stage for that it need 10.5 hours and s stage it need 10.5 hours and g2 stage need 3.5 hours and m stage need about 1 hour so this is cell cycle so what is given cycle this is the linking period between the completion of mitotic cell division and beginning of dna replication cell size increases that is given stage and it takes 10.5 hours and what is a stage and uh, this is the synthesis of dna 
and replication of DNA takes place. And G2, this is the linking period between, this is the time between the end of the DNA replication and beginning of mitotic cell division. Cell organelles divide into two. It also takes place 3.5 hours. And M stage is this one. This is the M stage. M stage consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. We discuss what cell cycle stages and we discuss what interphase and discuss what G1 stage and S stage and G2 stage and M stage. And now we are discussing what mitotic cell division stages. In old textbook, in page number 136, you will clearly observe the presence of a table and it is uh, given a complete uh, description matter regarding what mitotic cell division. So this is cell and here mitotic cell division takes place in somatic cells, body cells, vegetative organ but not in the reproductive cells. In reproductive cells also mitotic cell division takes place and after that it undergoes what meiotic cell division. But mitotic cell division takes place only. So mitotic vegetative organ they perform only mitotic cell division. Somatic organ they are performing only mitotic cell division. So here today we are discussing what mitotic cell division. Mitotic cell division takes place in somatic body organ, somatic cells. So this is a cell and you know well. So this is the what plasma membrane and this is what nucleus and it is circular in shape, spherical in shape and nucleus is covered by what? Nuclear membrane and here that is what? Nucleoplasm and here in the nucleus we can see the presence of what? Many chromosomes. A cell consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 and they are present in diffuse network. Diffuse network and they are very long and diffuse network they are very long and they are not visible under what microscope but during the process of mitotic cell division we can observe the presence of what the clear nature of the what chromosome how how it happens so here one these are called chromosome chromosomes so this is the first stage of mitotic cell division and that is called prophase prophase so in prophase so you need to understand about what four one 2, 4. So here you need to remember what 4 sentences here in prophase and you need to remember what 1 sentence in case of metastasis and you need to remember what 2 sentences in case of what anaphase and you need to remember what you need to write what 4 sentences in case of telophase. So mitotic cell division consists of how many sub stages 1, 2, 3, 4 prophase, metaphase anaphase telophase so in prophase what changes takes place page number 136 so chromosomes they condense get coiled visible even in microscope and nuclei become smaller so this is the nuclei and it become what smaller so long chromosome they become what condense and they become coiled and become visible so they are condensing condensed chromosome and they are visible chromosome chromosome condensed get coiled become visible even in light microscope so that changes takes place in prophase and neutral become what smaller so that is the first line you need to write for prophase and the second stage chromosome so this is a chromosome chromosome split lengthwise so this is one chromosome and this chromosome split lengthwise to form chromatid like you see this is one chromatid one chromatid like that you see chromosome split lengthwise to form chromatid connected at the center that is called as centromere this is called as centromere this is called as centromere so second point chromosome split lengthwise to form chromatid connected at the center that is called as centromere and uh, two points are over and third point is this is the nucleus and nuclear membrane disappears and it disappears nuclear membrane disappears and it dissolves third point nuclear membrane disappears 
and fourth point on either side of the nucleus what are present centrosomes are present centrosome this is one centrosome this is another centrosome in case of animal cells and these centrosomes consists of what centrioles they form rod like structure they form rod like structure and finally they produce what spindle fibers they are called as spindle fibers so all these changes takes place in prophase in prophase we observe how many uh, changes four stage first is chromosome condense get coil become visible even in light microscope and that is first point second point is chromosome split lengthwise to form chromatin and uh, that is the second point third point is nuclear membrane disappear and fourth point is centrosomes consists of centrioles they form what spindle fibers so those points you need to write for what prophase that is prophase four points and metaphase in metaphase you see all chromosome all these are chromosome so this the entire one is chromosome chromatid 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 like that many chromosomes are present here how many 23 pairs of chromosome but here i draw only four for the convenience to study easily we draw and i draw only four for to study in an in an easy manner to understand the mitotic cell division i draw only four what chromosome this is one chromosome second third chromosome all chromosome they gather at the equatorial plate this is called as equatorial plate this is called as equator spindle equator that is the only point you need to write for metaphase so during metaphase all chromosome move toward the spindle equator this is called as spindle equator and here spindle fibers attach to the centromere so here spindle fibers attach to the centromere and uh, this point you need to write for what metaphase and in a, in an aphid here you see splitting of what so this is the centromere centromere breaks so here centromere breaks and uh, one chromatid one set of chromosome move upwards and uh, another set of chromosome as uh, the chromatids are move downwards so here centromere breaks separating the chromatid 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 here the centromere breaks and uh, uh, the chro chromatids are more upwards or downwards centromere breaks separate the chromatids again you see this uh, spindle fiber they what contains and uh, they draw they pull the chromosome some of the chromosome upwards and also some of the chromosome downwards so what will take place contraction of the spindle fiber takes place and finally spindle fiber they drag some of the chromosome downwards and upwards toward the poles so that stage is called as a anaphase that is called anaphase in telophase that is the last stage in telophase you see here cell get pinches up and here you see all these are the chromatids and these they become what chromosome so here they be, uh, these chromatids become a chromosome and become elongated and they become a diffuse network again you see formation of what nucleoli again you see formation of what a new nuclear membrane new nuclear mem membrane and finally what will take place uh, a reverse to the prophase stage takes place so here chromosome they become elongated and uh, they, they perform a diffuse network and uh, a nuclear is formed and nuclear membrane is formed all the changes takes place in case of telophase after that you see uh, cell get pinches up and separating into two it divides into two so this is one daughter nucleus and this is another daughter nucleus so daughter nucleus divided into two and two daughter nuclear form in case of telophase so uh, at the end of the telophase you see the separation layer is formed and finally two cells are formed and two cells are getting what equal amount of cell organelles also nucleus and also cytoplasm after that you see division of cytoplasm takes place after the nucleus divided into two and this is the cytoplasm and cytoplasm also divides and finally cell get pinches and you see the formation of what two daughters uh, what cells are formed 
and at the end of the mitotic cell, cell, cell division two daughter cells are formed so here these are the changes that takes place in mitotic cell division today we discuss what an important topic in examination this question is asked many time describe explain mitotic cell division so that time you need to draw what four diagrams so this is prophase and this is a metaphase diagram this is anaphase diagram and this is a telophase diagram you need to remember what four points for prophase and one point for metaphase and uh, two points for anaphase and four points for what telophase like that you need to remember it four one two four then you can make a table and you need to describe what different stages of mitotic cell division today we discuss what topic division of what cell and division of somatic cells and uh, after the after that you see one cell divided to two and two daughter cells are identical two daughter cells are identical and this uh, division takes place in body cells are somatic organ but whereas it gets up reproductive cells so testes are present in our body and uh, ovaries are present in uh, testes are present in males and ovaries are present in case of females and already we discussed was structure of a flower a flower consists of gynecium and also antecium so these are called as reproductive organ in reproductive organs mitotic cell division takes place meiosis cell division takes place so meiosis cell division is called as reduction cell division so after meiosis one cell divide to twice so here one cell divide to only one so here cell divide to two two daughter cells are formed there in case of meiosis two not four daughter cells are formed so do two division takes place in meiosis but here in case of mitotic cell division only one division takes place and finally you see at the end of the mitotic cell division two daughter cells are formed and two daughter cells are identical but whereas in case of meiosis four daughter cells are formed and they are not identical they are haploid but these are diploid they can just have two sets of chromosome and each nucleus receives what 23 pairs of chromosome and 23 pairs of chromosome in case of mitotic cell division in case of meiosis so chromosome become half chromosome become half so they, that you see 23 23 but not 23 pairs so that is about what meiosis so meiosis topic is not you need to uh, learn in detail this year why because it is also out of syllabus but you may get a question that write different between mitotic and meiotic cell division in a tabular form like that questions are asked one or two times in annual examination but today's topic is an important topic don't forget it and give important to this topic and this topic is there in uh, reproduction unit 6 and this is called as mitotic cell division how many stages are there in mitotic cell division four what are they prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase like that four stages are there in mitotic cell division and you need to write about what uh, four points for prophase one point for metaphase and two points for anaphase and four points for telophase that is brief description about mitotic cell division and this cell division leads to the formation of two daughter cell cell and two daughter cells are identical and this division takes place in somatic organ somatic organ thank you